Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Onion Rings, and um, it is 5:30 in the motherfucking morning. Got up a little bit early to go to work today. Well, mostly because I couldn't fucking sleep. Um, yeah. So I figured I'd give you guys an update about everything that's going on. Why I haven't been active. Give you guys an update on my job and everything. Um, so I still have my job, obviously, or else I would have made a video saying I'm fired. Um, I came very close to quitting multiple times when I first started out, which I'm pretty sure is normal for most people when they start a new job because, I mean, for the most part, eh, that's not too bad, but it's not really great. For the most part, working is, uh, it's annoying, you know? You do it because you have to. You need the money. But it's fucking annoying. No one really wants to do it. I wanted to do it because I wanted money. But at the same time, I didn't want to do it because of my anxiety. But I think with my Zoloft, I got my anxiety to a controllable level and it's not so bad anymore and I'm able to do this part-time working now but um, yeah for the first like two weeks it was really really rough I mean when I first I mean I talked about all this on a stream but I figured I'd make a video because I know some of you didn't see that stream for the first like two weeks it was really really rough because um excuse me like I said it's 5 30 in the morning I'm tired I just fell asleep at 1 because that's one thing I hate about this job it's just like going to bed early getting up early when I first started out, my boss had me at 6 a.m. to noon, six hours, and I like to get up two hours before work so that I have plenty of time to get ready and stuff. I mean, it doesn't take me that long to get ready. I don't live that far from my job. It doesn't even take me that long to get there, like 10 minutes walking, but I like to have extra time just so I'm not rushing around, feeling stressed out, so I can get awake and refreshed before I have to go in. So I don't want to go into my job yawning and being all groggy and stuff because it looks unprofessional. <clears throat> but now I'm 8 to 12, which is only 4 hours. It's not 6. I used to be 8 to 2, but then I got, as I progressed through this job, I got quicker. And I do my job quicker now and I get it done faster. And they don't really need me for 6 hours anymore. So now I'm 4 hours Saturday and Sunday. And this coming week, as in this Monday, I will be getting a four-day weekend. I'll getting Thursday through Sunday because the guy who does the work on the weekdays is um, going on vacation. So this whole week, they need someone else, but I couldn't pick up the whole week. That'd be too much, too much to have one person do it. It would probably look suspicious on the store managers you know position to give all the hours to one person you know you got to give some to someone else so basically if i just start from the beginning really since there's a lot of you who don't even know about my job i do facility stuff which is basically cleaning and restocking i work at wawa which is a convenience store in the um on the east coast look it up w-a-w-a um, <clears throat> basically my job involves uh, when I get there I go outside do a trash run clean out all the trash cans because they're usually overflowing you know gas station people are coming through dumping their trash then I need to check the receipt paper and all the gas pumps check the paper towels and the cleaning solution for the windshields need to restock all that stuff um, and then I need to check the um, spill buckets in the ground, which is where uh, spilled gas and stuff runs off to. Sometimes they get over, 
overflowing, especially during really bad rain. And then I basically have to just sweep the parking lot, you know, make it look decent, get up all the big trash, and then clean the windows. Then I move inside, do all the trash inside, help my coworkers restock some of the stuff if they're too busy, like the cups, because there's certain areas that certain people do normally, because there's people in the deli and in the coffee area, and the coffee guy is usually supposed to clean off his little coffee bar area where, like, the half and half and all that crap is, but sometimes he's too busy swapping out the coffees to do it because during, you know, the morning rush, people are getting their coffee, and it runs out quick, so he's got to keep brewing. So I clean it up for him, help him restock it if they run out of sugar or whatever, you know, help restock that stuff, help restock the fountain soda area, um, you know, pick up the trash on the floor, yada, yada, yada. And then once I'm done with all that, I go into the cold box for the majority of my time left. And the cold box is basically the fridge where you get all your cold drinks, you know, your energy drinks, your sodas, your waters, whatever, your even your dairy and juices. Everything's in there. I go in the back, take it off the shelves, put it up on the display. And when I first started the job, I really hated that part. It was very miserable because I didn't know where anything was. It was very disorganized in there and I didn't know where anything was and it was very stressful and we got a new assistant general manager who's pretty strict about what gets stocked where and how it gets stocked and everything like that but I'm starting to get the hang of that and it's not a big deal anymore I'm getting to the point where I pretty much know where everything is um, and really that's that's my job right there. It's pretty easy. I just I go in for four hours on the weekends and just do you know simple tasks. Do trash, do some cleaning, stuff that the other employees don't really have time to get around to. So they hired me to do it. And that's fine with me because with my anxiety, I don't have to do hardly any communicating with other customers unless they ask for help while I'm in their general area. If they bump into me and they need help, you know, I'll help them if I can. Um or direct them to another coworker who can help them, or whatever like that. You know, talk to my other, talk to my fellow employees, talk to my boss. That's all I have to do. Socializing, so it's a pretty good, pretty good job for me. You know, I just go in, do my thing, go home. And like I said, the getting up early is the hardest part for me. But you know, it it's life. You know, kids get up early for school, adults get up early for work. I mean, as humans, we're just naturally born to get up early and it sucks but it is what it is but the money's decent um i get paid ten dollars an hour and it's like i said four hours a day so some days if the previous night shift dude like if the that yeah, the guy on night shift on friday if he does a really really good job stocking the cold box so sometimes the cold box will get really low and if they're not busy, some people will go in there and they'll just stock it for like a couple hours and just get it really, you know, refreshed. If they do that, then sometimes I get sent home early on Saturday because then all I have to do is all the outside stuff mostly and there's not really left anything to do. That happened last Saturday on my birthday weekend. I only worked two and a half hours. So normally I get around 80 bucks ish for my two four hour shifts because that's ten, eight, 80 hour or no, not 80 hours that'd be nice eight hours at ten dollars an hour it's around 80 gross and then after taxes you know i get less but usually if someone calls out during the week they'll bring me in to help which is always good get some more hours in there plus i'm gonna talk to talk to them about getting something permanently during the week as well because i do need more hours but so far as of april I have made um, I made four hundred and eighty-eight dollars just out of five checks, and my biggest one was my training check because it was four days. Even though actually no, I, it was technically three days. It would have been bigger, but since it was my first week, I got really stressed out and couldn't handle going in on the fourth day, and I called out. I mean, I also had a stomach thing going on. It wasn't just that I couldn't handle it. Um, I had some bad cake for my niece's birthday as well. Called out that first Sunday, my fourth day in, and then 
misstep, my first check would have been bigger, but my fir very first check was $111.02, which was pretty, it felt pretty good, you know, getting that money feels really good, so I urge any of you that are teenagers, if you're like, you know, 14 through 16, and you're thinking about getting a part-time job for the summer, even if you're not working every day, go for it, you know, because, especially if you can make a deal with your with your parents where they don't want any money from you like if you're young they probably don't want anything from you me being older my parents want me to pitch in every ever so often you know give them something if they need it because you know i'm living with them so it's only fair but if you're young and you can get a deal with them where they don't want any money from you you can take advantage of that and save that money up and then when uh, when school comes back around, you'll have money and you can use it on whatever you want. You know, the new fucking video games come out, buy it, and it'd be cool. So part-time work is fun. If you have anxiety like me, then I would highly suggest you try to look for something that I do, like facility work or janitorial stuff like that, where you don't really need to talk to anybody. Um, oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you guys that I do is I clean the bathrooms. That's part of the inside stuff I do. And the bathrooms is pretty pretty annoying. I hate doing it because, um, well, it's a little embarrassing because I have to clean the women's as well. Um, and I always dread going in there. I mean, obviously, I'm supposed to knock on the door first and then I'll push the door open and announce myself. And I do. But I'm, I've always been afraid that, like, somebody won't hear me announce myself and they won't say they're in there and then like I'll go in and then there's going to be someone in there and then like suddenly I'm in a situation where I'm in the women's restroom and there's a woman in there and I'm like oh shit and then I like turn around to leave but you know in this society next thing I know the woman's probably trying to say I raped her or some shit because that's how fucked up society is these days false rape claims and stuff but let's just pray that never happens I mean I would never ever ever even think about doing something like that so I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about it but most of the time they don't really take the guy's side on it they take the woman's side they're like oh I got me by this guy and then they just that guy's life usually gets pretty much fucking ruined because he can't really prove that he didn't do it I don't know I'm, I'm probably just over exaggerating there that's not gonna happen but I mean it's a small bathroom anyway so even if they didn't hear me announce myself, when I open the door, I can see the shadows of the feet, so if there's no shadows, then I'm good. And I always check the stalls, too. I'll go tap on them a little bit and give them a little push, and if they fly open, obviously nobody's in there, but if someone's in there, I leave immediately. There was this one time where there was someone in there, and they did hear me, and they said they were in there, and obviously I turned around and left, but I also hate doing the bathrooms because they're fucking nasty. I mean, I wear gloves, but damn, like, people are gross. Like, sometimes people just, like, explode poop all over the fucking walls. And then they got, um, women's obviously have their, you know, their period stuff. And I actually found, I really hope it wasn't pubes, but I think I found pubes in the men's room. It, I mean, it might have been beard hair because we have a lot of homeless dudes hanging around. And I think they go in there and, you know, they, like, they trim up and stuff and whatnot in there. But... I really hope it wasn't a pee because if it is, it was nasty. I mean, I had a glove on when I when I swept it up, and obviously I didn't touch it anyway because I swept it, but that still is just nasty, dude. I mean, yeah. But anyway, this video is getting a little bit long. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Tell those of you who didn't know about my job what I do. I know some of you already knew because you tuned into that one stream I did. I know it's been a while since I streamed. I've, just, I've had a lot on my plate, not just with my job. There's a, a lot of family stuff been going on. And, um, I'm gonna spare you guys from that, but I'm gonna try to start streaming more. I don't know when. I'll, I'll see. Um, Fortnite's been getting a ton of new updates. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, the perk recombobulator is pretty cool. This is my, uh, this is my, my scar. You guys like it? Pretty nice. I got Affliction. Damage to afflicted, you got crit chance, crit damage, mag size, and L or L energy damage. So it's a pretty nice little, pretty nice little scar we got here, right? Looking nice and fine. Yeah, I like this. I like this scar a lot. It's really nice. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stream any more Fortnite. We'll see. I know I just played through God of War. That game was fucking amazing. I could stream that if you guys want me to. I just don't know if you guys would want me to stream a story game because it's pretty slow paced, honestly. And for the most part, it, it's just me like hunting for collectibles and stuff. And I don't know if that would be a game you want to see. There is a game that I could stream for you guys, and that is Destiny 1 because I picked it up for three bucks yesterday because I get paid every Friday, which is awesome. So I picked it up for three bucks. And I'm going to give it a try because I don't like Destiny 2 that much. It's kind of meh. Like, it, it needs a ton of work. And I mean, like, a ton of work. The game is just... I don't know what happened, really. I'm assuming that the people who worked on Destiny 1 are no longer in the Bungie studio. Because Destiny 2 is just missed, like, everything. Everyone says, oh, give Destiny 2 time, you know. The, it took Destiny 1 three years to get it right. Okay, but my thing is, if they finally got Destiny 1 right, then why couldn't they get Destiny 2 right going into it if they already knew what made Destiny 1 great at the end of that three-year cycle? If they already knew what made it great, why not just implement that into Destiny 2 as soon as it came out? Why do they need three years to make Destiny 2 great again? I don't understand. That's that's my po my view on it. Everybody's like, oh, they need time to make it great. No, they don't. They've already had a good, successful game. The first one was good. At least so people are saying. I've never played it. I'm going to give it a try and see. So I might be able to stream that if you guys want me to. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to go and get ready for work, friendos. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Yeah. I'll uh, update you guys more later on. If you guys have any questions, you know, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to get in contact with me, you know, my Twitter, it's at uh, Onion Rings Games. DMs are open. If you ever want to shoot me a DM, just say hi, or if you have a question, you know, whatever, shoot it my way. And I'm here for you guys. But that'll be it. See ya.